Hudson family murders, but this morning we're learning two people may have been behind those murders. CBS 2's Joni Lum joins us live from Englewood. Joni? William Balfour has a lengthy arrest record. He served seven years for attempted murder and carjacking, was paroled, and has, run in, has had run-ins with the law as recently as last summer. The Associated Press reports that William Balfour talked to his parole officer on the phone Friday, the day of the murders, and said he was babysitting, and the officer says he heard a child's voice. Last June, Balfour was arrested with crack cocaine in the car. He was on parole, but it was not considered a violation. And the Chicago Tribune reports more than one person was involved in the crime. On her MySpace page, Julia Hudson writes, Balfour's, uh, because I chose to do what is natural to me, to love someone, it cost me my beautiful family, my mother, Darnell, my baby brother, Jason, and my only son, Julian. Last night, Julian's father came to a vigil held here at the house. He did not make any comment at the scene. Neighbors lit candles, and they sang mournful songs. And members of the Hudson family also came to the house to retrieve belongings. They had a police escort with them, and they did not say anything. William Balfour is being held on a separate parole violation. He will have a hearing on that November 10th. Right now, he's not charged in connection with these murders. Live in Anglewood, Joni Long, CBS2 News. All right, Joni.